Yes. Which is really weird that you get it so early and you can't fly. It's it's kind of kind of one of those weird things. Wait, I'll just level all these ice dogs. Yeah. There we go. Fire and water. Fire and water. How much water I even got? Like none? Okay. I need to level this water dog. All of the Mizu. Well, not all the Mizus. Those Mizus will be fine. I'm gonna need a water. I'm gonna need water stuff though here really soon. I don't know if any of these have anything good. Wow, man, I just don't have a whole lot of waters, man. That sucks. <laughs> uh, the waters need some love, man. They, uh, I'm, be I'm behind it. They need some love. Oh. Salt. Uh... Ooh, if they made a deviant version of Mizu, I'd be behind that, man. I'd be, uh, I'd be down. charges power for two turns what's that do <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means okay I don't know I like the idea of the valiant though I, I, I forgot that she had that that uh, pink Rathian has that Great buff for uh, Testo. Mm, I bet it is. I've heard. I think you might have been the one to say that, actually, EK, EKZ. Oh, yeah. Soul Seer Mizutsune. That's right. There's too many choices for uh, fire stuff, man.
I don't know if these salt in the wounds. Oh, okay. So the salt in the wounds, the T, is for technique. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, 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 we might as well. Vervoto just got one-shotted by Bloodbath Diablos. That sounds intense. Um... Oh, that was for Treasure Hunter? Well, they'll level slowly, I guess. Let's just go with Thorough. Oh my gosh. I just need to stick with Thorough. Uh, yeah, j yeah, just stick with Thorough. We've got plenty of Thunder that needs a love. Like all of them. Like, like freaking all of them. What do you have? explosion on you and it did about six of your health no idea how wow so, ice and water probably don't have a whole lot of either we'll level that is there anything worth it on here Just spit, I guess. You know what? Whatever. Boy, I'm super lacking in water and ice. Like, super, super lacking. Shredding scales, that's neat. I guess I need to level a few brutes. Okay, that's done. All right, let's go push. Let's go push a little bit of the elder layer, layer as much as I can. Uh, I don't have the stuff to currently put on that Nergigante. I couldn't figure out how to really fix my team. I 
I wanted to use a Brachiodos, but I only have one and he's no good. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. I hope that I see one here soon. Yeah, Velcana for ice. Yeah, I have Velcana on my team. I also need to... Uh, I don't even know if my Velcana is any good, actually. I can't look right there. I mean, it's alright. Oh, yeah, I did a little bit of work on it. Not anything super special. Uh, yeah, actually, before I forget, you guys just reminded me about something. Okay, I need to do these nutriments on some of these creatures. Mm, that Asalos isn't actually that great. I probably shouldn't do that. The Norga needs the buffs because it's constantly in the co-ops. Can't believe I'm out of nutriments. Yeah, yeah, I've uh, maxed out on nutriments on myself. That's actually the very first thing I did. I'm l I'm glad that I like messed around with it. You know what I mean? Like attempted, <laughs> uh, attempted it because it definitely worked out. Um, I guess it doesn't matter what I fight and destroy in here. I need better water weapons. I probably could upgrade some. Oh no, I can't. I'm broke. Never mind. Broke club is uh, for real, y'all. So that's just uh, that's. I should probably bring up that point. Never stop doing expeditions. <laughs> they probably made me all of my money. Uh, because whenever I stopped doing them, I ran out of money.
<laughs> Roberto. Uh, I'm going to switch off Roberto for a little bit. He's not a very good team player. He needs to heal himself. Yeah, there is absolutely no reason not to match your character on this. That's a fact. For time trials? I mean, yeah, he is really good for time trials. I'm thinking I'll go... You know what? I'll go get Cheval. I haven't used him in a minute. I liked him whenever I used him in the story. I mean, the only downside is that his weapon, I think, is Dragon, right? What if you don't condone doping? What up, Crinkles? How you doing? <laughs> uh, hopefully, Nargakuga is going to help me out here. I don't want to die. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He switched. Uh... <laughs> I actually noticed that too, Amura Coast. Uh... I noticed that too, and I don't I don't remember when it was like mid story, and I was just like, wait, Wavarian's feet are different than ours? What? It may have actually been I think I was actually like three fourths of the way in the story, not halfway. They also only have three fingers in a thumb. My mind is blown. <laughs> like, dude, what? Uh I wanna see okay, so we did a thing yesterday. We got three eggs from this exact area that I'm in, and they all had the exact same bingo board the exact same and it blew my mind it was uh it was two uh yin garugas and an ursilla and they all had the exact same layout and the exact same type of moves like not the exact same moves but like they were all technique and it like it was crazy i it blew my mind Wait, Inna has normal feet in her dress? What? What? They are freaking me out, man. I'm gonna go pick up Cheval. Is he all... Where is Cheval? Actually, is he also in... Lelucian? Or is he somewhere else? No, he's probably in... Uh, he's probably in the volcano base, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. In uh, New Tay Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was thinking, I was like, I was like, is there another base? Wait. Okay, so is it only the uh, bonus outfit that she has, though? That, so they're just like some kind of crazy shoes? Because if so, man, that's got to be extremely uncomfortable. Whoa, I have a quest here? Excuse me? <laughs> How do I have a quest here? I swear there wasn't one here before.
What? Go on. So it's like, oh, that's so crazy, man. Can you imagine, like, the strength in the arch of their feet? That's impressive. I don't know, man. I find that quite impressive. <laughs> All right, we'll go back here. I think in this place, honestly, I should be using physical weapons, which eventually I need to upgrade. Um, Nergigante's already 51. I don't know if he, if he can survive. Let's find out. Let's test it the only way I know how. Just throw him out there. Good luck, Nergigante. Good luck. What weapon did I main in World? Hammer and Sword and Shield. Hammer and Sword and Shield uh, by far were the... Oh, whoops. That's not a Conchu. <laughs> Uh, whoops. Oh, that's fine. Rathian's big head was in the way. Uh, those were the first two. I played a lot of weapons, though. The only weapons that I can say were not in the wheelhouse or were the, at the bottom were ranged weapons because I sucked with them. I never took the time out to get good with them. I was good with melee, and I kind of just stuck with it. Uh, and then it probably went hammer. Sword and Shield. Probably Sword and Shield might have even had more on the last playthrough of World. Uh, then Gun Lance. And towards the end, I played some Dual Blades for just for fun. Because they had that crazy that crazy, you know, move that they have where, where you slice down their back. It was great. Yeah, longsword's great. Like, if I ever wanted to cut off a tail, I went for long tail. Or long tail, listen to me. Longsword. For sure. Lance was a... It, Lance is fun, Crinkles. Lance was a blast. I had so so much fun just charging around at things. Like, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like using a bonk weapon. It's just, it just works, you know? <laughs> kind of like using the hammer. It's just it's just fun to play. Uh, but all the weapons are fun to play. I can't really say anything. All right, I better switch to Oshrout or uh, Nergigante. They only have at least three or four Claw Toads in it, and all one happened to have three. What? <laughs> What up, Ronan? I got a... Last night, even though the power took us out, you know, unfortunately, the uh, thunderstorm. Uh, I still, because, you know, the Switch has its own battery, I managed to stay in the session, but it was with Jim and I bought. 
<laughs> Jim and I bought was still there to help me. Uh, but I did manage to get me a Rajang, so I was pretty happy about that. Which I gotta be honest, man. I don't know what the main use of Rajang in this game is. I like looked him over and I, I, someone would have to tell me what's great about him. Other than he has maxed uh, thunder damage. I have no idea, Ronan. I, I look at, I look at, uh, I, I don't know. I look at the monkey and he's kind of a sling, uh, like he's kind of a clean slate. Like he doesn't have a whole lot of his own things going on. So you could kind of do whatever with him, it looks like. But he does kind of seem like a glass cannon. He, all of his defenses are really low. Zuvin, uh, if that's how you say your name, I apologize if I get it wrong. Uh, so his pump up is the best buff in the game. Oh, okay. I figured there was something like, he only had like, you know, like his two abilities and like one, I, it was like one attack ability and one buff ability, I think. Like the one that I got just did not have a whole lot going on. I don't know if he can get more abilities or what. Oh, you know what? Let's not do that. That. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. He... You think he, Thunderlord, and Kieran all fulfilled the same role? You know, if you put Thunderclad on him, he goes into Thunderform, which I love that. Like, it seems like the creatures don't come with their own form abilities, but if you take a form ability off someone else, like I took, uh, for instance, like just like what you were saying with that one, I took the slime ability off Brachiodos and put it on Teostra, and he goes into fire form, and it's really cool. I just kind of ranted there for a second, or not ranted, but <laughs> went off on that for a second. Uh, oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. We, we, we got to keep the beard in check man it's got a it needs love too oh you're gonna go back to rise you never finish it rise is amazing i enjoyed the heck out of rise we played the heck out of rise here monster hunter is one of the only series that i consecutively get over 100 hours every time a new a new one comes out freaking love these games usually for a lot of them over 200 hours No, I'll go ahead and do this. Oh, wait, if you two saw them, they last for five turns? Oh, my God. I thought you just changed my life, Ronan. I, like, looked down on buff abilities because of the three turns. And I didn't know that upgrading them gives them uh, uh, more turns. Oh, my gosh. I need to upgrade mine. <laughs> I need to upgrade mine bad. I had no idea. Dude, I can't believe there's still so much about this game I don't know. <laughs> like, you could easily play this game for like 300 hours and still not have everything mastered. Well, I think at 300, you'd probably know about everything. Never mind. That's that's pretty... I think that that would be, like, the... the top in there. You have Ice Armor of Valkana and Thunder Form on Kieran. Oh, yeah, that's right. I read that. You still play World every now and then. Never got to MR100 to get Augments. Or beat Fatalis, but he's near impossible. He's not. You got that. You got it. I believe in you. 
I believe any of you can beat Fatalis. It's in you. I, I believe you. If you ever need his equipment, just uh, use a switch axe, which I enjoy switch axe. Use switch axe and break his face. Victory is yours. <laughs> just go there for the eyes. It's cheap, but it works, man. This is the longest you've ever been on Monster Hunter nearing 40 hours. Oh, if you get into it like any, like all the rest of us have, you're definitely going to put more than 40 hours into it. <laughs> Oh, it's a matter of soloing Fate Palace. I gotcha. Wow! Did you guys see that crit? My dog just crit for 2,600. That's the biggest crit I've ever seen. And that dragon's... Is that... Is, he's weak to water. He's not even weak to dragon. Can you imagine? If he was weak to dragon? Oh my god, that was a wasted crit. <laughs> I need to see that crit on a dragon weakness uh, enemy. Gosh dang it, man. That's, I mean, some of you's probably seen bigger than that, but I, I haven't, personally. I really don't want to give you one of my ancient potions, man. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's fine then. Whatever. Close. I'm waiting for uh, Cheval, Cheval to show me that he's better than Kana, but I haven't seen it yet. What was I doing? Oh, not that. Wait, you know what? I'm going to make a set, dude. Wait, how do you do that again? Oh, wait. Edit. No, wait. Register equipment. Okay, fantastic. Uh... Because I'm getting tired of switching them the old-fashioned way. And then sets, because I gotta I gotta man up and do this. Alright. Oh wait, I need to fix that one, but that's fine, I'll do that later. Zardrick, all I know about the game is dogs. They, they're all that matter to me. <laughs> hey, I love dogs too. I love I love animals though, just in general. The largest crit you got is 1.5k. Well, hey, let me tell you, my dragon dog just did a whopping 2.6, so you can do it too. Uh, you can probably do it on all of them, especially if you're uh, type matching. You know what I mean? Uh... The dogs can definitely be worth it. They have max crit and they have some of their own abilities, which makes them worth it. It's depending on the dog and, you know, obviously the situation. sardrick has got all six. He's running a full six dog team, even though they're all uh, speed. He's got it worked out. I was, I was, I was unsure about it, but he showed me the ways. He showed me his ways. We did a co-op and he was rocking it with his dogs. Uh, you're in Alaska, and it will be hitting winter in about a month. So what happens whenever you hit winter in Alaska? Like, I'm curious now. You piqued my interest. I'm, I've known a few people in Alaska here. I've, I've met so many interesting people here. It's great. Uh, why are you using a technical attack? Why would you do that? You're letting me down. Pretty sure he uses strength. Am I tripping? I'm not tripping. We'll just switch to the reliable dog. That's one thing with my Astalos that I really need to fix. He does weird things. It's the only thing I don't like about the about the Muncie. You try to give him a heart turo. That's what you always use. I wonder what that is. I'm gonna. I've got him. I know I've got him. I need to check what that is. 
You did 2,500 with a meteor hammer. That's impressive, Boy Dexter. Three point one crit off of an elemental weakness dual kinship attack. I think the best I've seen two memory on my team, out of sheer luck, mind you, is a four point four k. Super lucky, super lucky crit on that one. Oh, what are you weak to then, dude? Oh, heart churros? Shut up, Zardrit. <laughs> I didn't know there was a heart thing you could only use outside of combat. Gosh darn it, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know enough about this game. I've been playing well over 100 hours now, and I don't know enough. Oh, thank you so much for following Trey, Trey Trainer. 5252, welcome to the Warband. We're so glad to have you here. You know what? I'm just gonna let the dog do whatever he wants. Whatever. He's strong enough. He can handle it. Oh, I'm using the hammer, so... Alright. You've done 5k with the double kinship? I expect, man. I expect people have seen some crazy numbers. That dog, so broken. You think the sun just goes bye-bye? <laughs> Probably. We've been here for about five days, so it's going really help when it starts to snow. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to have a game you can really dig into. It's really, really nice for a situation like that, I'm sure. You have a pet skill, excuse you? Wait. Yes, there is there is abilities that your creatures can use. Oh wait, he's raging, so Oh, so I should be using strength now? For like five months, that's crazy. The sun without five months, that's that's insane. So, if you know the sun's going to be gone for like five months, do you plan and like uh, buy vitamin D, uh, like uh, supplements for that time, like gummies? Since uh, that's what you're missing if you don't get sun, it's vitamin D. I, I used to take that whenever I worked nights because I was always asleep during the day and it helped me out tremendously. Oh, the pet skill. <laughs> oh, that's right, Crinkles. I keep forgetting that there's a pet skill. You pet your skill. You 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 pet your Munsty and it heals them, and it's great. Do you sound like you go outside? I mean, I didn't say that. I just uh, the um. I mean, I'm just saying. It's good for you to have vitamin D, and uh, the gummies are tasty, and. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. Let's go the other way. Oh wait, is there a looter off here? Oh, there's a looter off here. Wait, wait, wait. What weapons do I have on? I have Fi Fi on. Ooh, I need to upgrade my Luteroth weapons. Come here. I need I need to upgrade my Luteroth weapons. I did I forgot that they're that they spawned in this area. Uh you're strength, but do you use strength? Yes, you use strength, sir. Okay. Ooh, wait. Deostra, yes. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm thinking that on my Teotra, I said this I think yesterday, I really need to uh, go ahead and put the kinship skill up on him. He just never had, we just never have enough skin the kinship, like ever. And it's, it's terrible. He has skills that like, like how, how much is his, like 48 and 54. He like never gets to use them, it's crazy. Uh, either that or I need to give him the kinship cost down skill. The gene, I mean. I keep saying skills, but I mean genes. You can't for the life of you get a status element up XL gene to draw. I find that a lot on... Actually, I find that a lot on my Nargigantes. And you can also get it off of... I think that it almost always comes standard on Kushala Deora. Which I know those are elders. Trait pain in the rear, right? Uh, but it's a thing. I was actually trying to find the rest of them. Is all out XL good? Is all out the, uh, is that the one that does recoil? Or is it something else? I'm going to go ahead and take the hit. Why not? Uh, you're still burned from a week ago when you were in South Carolina. I bet the, I bet it's hot over there right now. Oh, God. Oh, ha, ha. I thought I was clever bringing out my fire, Muncie. He's weak to water. He got wrecked. Uh, let's just switch you back out. That was a bad idea on my part. Super bad idea. Super bad idea. Okay, so we got a beard brush here. I got a line of things here. I got to hydrate. I need to hydrate. Let's get let's get us some aloe. Some aloe to drink here. For that scratchy throat. And oh, there's one. There's one stretch. <laughs> Oh, one stretch, and I gotta get that beard brush. Any tips for leveling up faster? Zubin, what level are you currently? Where are you at in the story? Like, have you beat the story, or is it during the story? Because, uh... There's a few different ways to level quick. Depending on your level, you can go to something slightly lower than where you're at. You can kind of go down, and there's a quick finish option. If you haven't already discovered it, it's a great way to level. If you're if you're so many levels higher than something, you can quick finish them. And if they're right below you, like right at the threshold, you can level pretty fast off, off of them, get you some extra gear. Uh, there's also, honestly, the best way to like get you some good experience is go to where, if, if, if you can't quick finish, Go to where they're a little bit easier for you. Like, say you know that there's an ice area and that they're all going to be weak to either thunder or fire. You make thunder or fire weapons. And you go and hammer, hammer it out. Uh, okay, so you're 51. I would say the elder area, like... Yeah, the elder area. That's where I would go, personally. Uh, at 51 because around 50 elder becomes like your primary experience gaining place the elder lair and another stretch let's stretch out the shoulder and I will go ahead and just uh, click things click stuff and things while I'm stretching these shoulders out because man they are super tight Oh. Did I just get wrecked? I think I just got wrecked. Oh, no. I'm still alive. Stretching out these shoulders here. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, so 
they're the thing about the barrel cats which they do give a lot and if you're used to finding them uh they're probably not too bad uh i would say though that they're kind of inconsistent uh like i don't look for them but if i find them then it's great it's a great boost to experience I use I just use barrel bombs, Zardrick. That's that's what I do. Why does this Luderoth seem so strong? So hateful. The, the Luteroth, like, the, not even the Royal Luteroth was being a pain in the rear. Oh, also, Zubin, uh, make sure you use your, uh, your charms. Ooh, I wasn't clicking it at the beginning. Uh, the experience game charms are huge. I think like what? It's an extra like 25% or something? Yeah. Oh, he got knocked down. Perfect. 